Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at dynamic imports within JavaScript. Okay, so um, essentially dynamic imports allows you to load your JavaScript modules dynamically. Now I just want to say um, you do want to make sure that you have an understanding of uh, regular JavaScript import export syntax or modules in general uh, before you know continuing to learn dynamic imports. So I've actually got a whole video dedicated to the import export syntax um, if you'd like to check that one out before watching this one. But just make sure you understand um, you know the regular import export syntax before trying to learn dynamic imports. So anyway, like I said, uh, they allow you to load your JavaScript modules dynamically. So this can be uh, this can be useful for things like lazy loading. Let's just say you want to speed up the load time of your page. You can make it so using dynamic imports, you can make it so uh, you know certain modules are only loaded when they are required by the user. That's just one advantage which we're going to be taking a look at in this video. Another advantage might be uh, when you need to have computed module specifier strings. And when I say module specifier strings, I'm talking about the path or the URL to the module. So you can basically make it so you have an if statement or a condition around you know which URL is going to be used to import your module, which is only possible using dynamic imports. So. Like I said, uh, we're going to be having an example of lazy loading. So right here we have this multiply button. When I press this multiply button, I want it to display 50 as an alert window. So basically we want to we want to do 5 times 10 when I press this button and we're going to be doing so by dynamically importing a math module which I have pre-written. Okay, so let's go inside the text editor. As we can see right here, I've got this index.html file. And of course, right here, we have the button with an ID of my button and of course, the multiply text. So uh, more importantly, I've got this source directory with a file called math.js. And this one right here is going to be our multiply function, which of course is going to multiply a number by something else. So I might just remove this default just for now. We'll come back to that a bit later. But as we can see, it's quite straightforward. If I pass through 5 and 10, we're going to get 50 from this uh, function. So let's use dynamic imports to import this module and then of course give us our result of 50. So first, I do want to show you, um, you know, a standard import export uh, syntax example before changing it to use dynamic imports. So let's go down here and give this a script type of module. So this right here is of course required uh, for the import export syntax. However, it is not required for dynamic imports. So we're going to be removing this very soon. Uh, anyway, let's go inside here now and we can say import all as math from then pass through here uh, source and then of course math.js. So now we can simply just say uh, document dot, um, dot get element by ID pass through here my button and we can say when the button gets clicked on so add event listener pass through click when the button gets clicked on we can simply just say inside here um, alert and pass through here um, math.multiply multiply and pass through here uh, let's just do 10 and then 5. So now saving this and refreshing we can see right here um, if I was to press on the button we get 50 in the alert uh, window. That's working as expected and of course as we can see in the network tab if I was to refresh we can see immediately the math.js library or the module has been loaded up. Okay so Let's now transform this example into dynamic imports. So the first step is going to be removing this type of module since it is not required um, but simply optional for dynamic imports. Okay, we can also remove this top line and then inside here uh, we can use dynamic imports by saying this. We can say import just like this and we're going to pass through the path so dot forward slash source then math.js and this right here is going to be importing our module and, and uh, giving us a promise. So this means we can then say dot and then pass through then. Okay, and now we can basically just say right here, um, math 
then have this function and now uh, the math right here is going to be essentially equal to uh, um, our imported module. Okay, so this means if I was to paste this inside here now and also console.log um, the value of math this should now work the exact same way. So right there is a dynamic import. Let's now save this and refresh and we can see right here first off, first difference, uh, the math.js is not loaded on page load and secondly, of course, if I was to press this now it now gets loaded on the press of the button instead and of course right here we get the exact same result and that is basically how to use dynamic imports. Now, um, inside the console we can see right here we have the module object and of course we have a property called multiply and of course that right there contains our function for the multiply. Okay, now what about our default exports? So let's go back inside here and just make this export default function. Okay, so in this case uh, we're going to instead have a property here of default and that's going to contain our multiply function. So let's go back inside here now and change this to be um, math dot default. So now default is going to of course give us the exact same result of the multiplication of the multiply multiplication. There we go. Um, let's try again. Save this and refresh, and we can see right here we get the exact same result in the console 50 here. This time of course we get default as our property. Okay, so um, as we can see, of course, it uses uh, promise. So if I was to say down here, dot catch, in case things go wrong, um, let's just pass through here console.error just to see what we actually get. And let's just change this right here to be maths with an s um, dot js to, of course, give us that error. Let's save this and refresh and then try again. And we can see right there we just have the failed to fetch dynamically imported module and it gives us that. Okay, now uh, once again since this right here is going to be a promise we can use the async await syntax as well. So let's transform this into async await. So let's just go up here and make this an asynchronous function by putting async right there. And then inside here we can instead say something like this. We can say const math is equal to import. Once again, passing through dot forward slash source math.js. Okay, and now just put the await in front of that and we should be good to go. So now we can just get rid of this and then we can also just remove this stuff here. And now we should see the exact same result. Of course, now using a sync await, um, the code is going to pause right here until the module is loaded and then it's going to continue. So now saving this and refreshing, we now get the same result. We get 50 right there and it's all working perfectly fine. So that right there is an example of dynamic imports um, and a use case for lazy loading. Okay, now what about your computed module specifier strings? Well, uh, it's quite straightforward. Let's go back inside here. So let's just say that the module for math.js changes depending on certain situations. So for example, let's go up here and make a new constant called, let's just do um, uh, module, uh, module path. Okay, let's make this equal to something like this. We can say if one is greater than two, which of course it is not, then we can use dot forward slash source something else then math.js so of course a different path here otherwise let's use the exact same path this one right here so of course in this case um, of course one is not more than two so we're going to get this one right here and we can pass through here um, module path instead and this right here this dynamic uh, you know building of the string or you know conditions around the path of the actual import uh, string is not possible with the standard import export syntax so now saving this and refreshing we should see the exact same result and it's going to work perfectly fine so that right there is dynamic imports within javascript Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later.